Hello sweetie. Welcome to the Zero Calvin channel. Please, have a seat and make yourself comfortable. The show will begin directly. Bye bye for now love. Hey everybody and welcome to Zero Calvin. Uh, today I want to talk about modifying hair in Character Creator. Because um, I had somebody, you know, a comment on one of my videos asking me about how they would go about modifying hair. Uh, so if they bought something off the shelf, that's not quite right with what they want to do. Could they modify it? Um, the answer is yes. Uh, it does require a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of practice uh, of some tools that are built into Character Creator. But you can modify um, hair, like specifically he asked, could you, you know, shorten the hair or could you make a bald patch? Um, so I'll kind of show you how to do both of those things. Um, so let's start off with Kevin here and we're just going to drop some hair on him. And before we get started, I will show you, um, I need to kind of explain how hair works in Realusion products. Um, so if you look at the hair, it looks like maybe it's made out of individual little strands, but that actually isn't the case. So under the hood, if we were to look at this hair, I'm going to turn off the texturing. You'll see that it's just a bunch of flat white rectangles or, you know, flat uh, rectangles. Okay. So there's a, bu a bunch of them, but they're not individual strands, they're individual planes, okay? So that's an important thing to understand. Uh, the other important thing to understand that uh, most hair is gonna be comprised of two material zones or two, two different elements. Um, there's the hair itself. Sometimes you'll have multiple sections to the hair, so there'll be like the bangs and the main hair and a backside, but um, one of the other elements you're always going to have, like 99% of the time, is something called a scalp or a hair cap. Um, so that is what you're seeing here. And what that does is it's normally a, it's colored roughly the same color and, and textured sort of like the hair, but it fits tightly around the scalp of the character. So if we go into the materials and I make the hair material transparent by turning the opacity all the way down, you'll see that this hair cap is left. Um, so this is something we're going to have to be mindful of both, um, you know, if we're going to make a bald patch, you're still going to see this through the bald hat patch, perhaps, or if we're modifying the hair and stretching things out when we're selecting it, we have to be mindful that we may be, or we almost always will be accidentally selecting this as well, um, which is kind of makes it a little more challenging for, for us to work. So this brings me back to how we would go about modifying the hair. So with the hair selected, go to Modify tab and then the Attribute sub tab, and you will see this groovy little thing called Edit Mesh which you can use for virtually everything inside a character creator. So it's a super excellent function to know about, especially for clothing, by the way. So if clothing, if you ever have parts of the skin that are poking out through the clothing, um, you can adjust it with this thing. I'm not gonna give you a full tutorial, but there's a, you know, a full set of um, tools here. They're not super duper powerful, but they're pretty good. Um, so for our purposes, we can, we're mainly going to use this vertex selection, but do know that there are sculpting tools in here. So you can um, kind of use a thing to pull, you know, push, pull things out or push things in or smooth things out, which is what you're going to use for clothing a lot of times. Um, we can also select an elements or faces. Uh, for us, we're just going to keep it on vertices. Uh, notice we have the main co main hair and we also see that hair cap hanging out here. So for length, um, now with hair like this, it's a little difficult for us because there's so many of these rectangles. A lot of times with female hair, it's a little easier. Um, it's not quite so crowded. You'll see really distinct, longer 
rectangles and not as many of them usually. Um, this hair is a little bit dense, but it lets me show you, you know, some of the difficulties you may have uh, because, you know, you don't, you're not going to try to s select each little point and move each little, let me turn soft selection off. So, you know, you can select these points and you can use your um, keys up here to say move. You can also, I use W or E for rotate, which is, and then move these individual points. That, that gets a little bit tedious. So they have this thing called soft selection. So that will take your selection and it'll expand it out um, in a in a kind of um, you know soft gradient, uh, and you can bias it towards the ends of the selection or the but uh, or the, the beginning of the selection. But usually, just leaving it at, at half is probably the best and the softest selection you can do. Um, so this will let us grab groups of large groups of hair and move it around and not have it look really weird or as weird. Uh, the other thing to be mindful of is ignore back faces. So it's a little weird with hair because it's not a solid object. It's a lot of these like rectangles that, you know, we're, we can kind of still punch through sort of, like I can select things on the other side, you know, through it by mistake. Um, so ignore back faces will tend to minimize the amount of accidental selection on the other side, but it's not gonna eliminate it with hair. It's not gonna eliminate it altogether, unfortunately. You can see that it minimized it. If I didn't have that on, it's gonna be just as harsh over this side. So from, um, so it's, it's, it's a double-edged sword because it gets us more penetration into the hair and lets us select deeper down inside of it, but we could also be selecting things somewhere else that we don't necessarily want. Um, so just be mindful of that. When you're selecting things, you could be selecting uh, items outside of your view. So for, to change length of hair and things like that, you could grab the hair however you want. Like I'm just gonna select it like that. And you can play with the radius. We could drag it down a little, move the radius down, drag it down a little, drag it down a little. Do something like that. So we can give him a power mullet like that. Now he's got that MacGyver look, which is very stylish. So you can kind of change the length of hair like that. If we wanted to do a bald patch, um, again, we would just use the edit mesh tool. And you can kind of just select a little patch and use your W key. If you hold down Alt while you're in this um, you know, tool, it lets you move things around just like you had if you had something else, um, you know, if you didn't have these keys activated. You can always hold down Alt and still um, have it work as if you had this selected. Um, so you can kind of do things at the same time. If you hold down Alt, I can use my left mouse button to move and my right one to orbit. Um, and of course, the scroll wheel is always going to scroll around and lets you kind of do these things at the same time. So we can kind of look from the side, push that in a little bit, give him a little bit of a bald patch there. You may have to get in and out of edit mode to see if you're having an, any effect. Notice we've given him a bald patch, but it's hard to see because his scalp is still he still has that hair cap underneath. Um, you can either paint that out, so um, with the hair selected, 
and the scalp material selected. You can go here, say launch texture, and you can paint in a little patch of black. Um, you'll have to do it by trial and error to find the right spot, but then you can paint out a patch of black, which will make um, that portion of the hair cap invisible. Um, or you can just be lazy and you can make the whole thing invisible by going like that. Um, or we can just go back into the edit mesh tool and know that, you know, if we have ignore back faces not selected and we're selecting down there, we're probably, we can see that we're actually kind of grabbing that hair cap as well to some degree. If we grab enough of it and we could push that down out of the way too, we'll start to actually see um, his scalp. Like that. So what's happened is if I hide the hair again, we've actually grabbed a large portion of this hair cap and pushed it down inside of his scalp. But if the guy's going bald, we're kind of want we're kind of going to want to emphasize that anyway. So um, in that case, it's really not a bad thing. We almost want it because we want to see his scalp bleeding through. So now we've got given him a mullet and a bald spot. Uh, we can also kind of thin out his hair if you want. So we could click on the hair material and you can click thin out his, all of his hair a little bit by either clicking on that hair material and just turning the opacity down a little bit, which kind of is going to accentuate his, the thinness of his hair. Um, you can also do it by playing directly with the opacity map. Um, so if you right click on this and do adjust color, this is the opacity map. Um, so again, making it darker is kind of kind of thin out his hair a little bit. Um, as you can see, it's really thin. So this is when it becomes problematic, though, that we've moved his... Um, hair cap in his scalp. So that's, you know, something to be wary of. Maybe um, we just want to hide that all together if we're going to thin it out. So just go here, hide it all together. Now it really looks diseased. We we'll go back into hair, go back into this, right click, adjust color, adjust the brightness, kind of just make him look patchy. So now it looks like his hair is thinned out and he's looking just kind of icky all together, right? I'm one to talk, I'm mostly all the way bald, but uh, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, wrapping it up, that's how I'd go about modifying hair in Relusion, changing the length or making them bald, things like that. So it is definitely possible to modify off-the-shelf hair. Um, just takes a little bit of finessing. So hopefully this helped. I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button.